Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another installment. Whoa. Sorry about that. Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. It's going to be a, let's see, today is Thursday, the 24th. It's going to be a great Thursday. I've got a, uh, an interesting question for you. Title of today's show is, are you a cheater? Are you a cheater? But before we get to that, just a couple of quick housekeeping things. Hey, if you are uh, watching, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do it. Joe just did drop comment in there. You got to work really hard to beat Joe. He's, I mean, he's on it every day. But go ahead. Just because he's beat you doesn't mean you can't go ahead and leave a comment in there. Say hi. Let me know that you were here. And if you are listening to the show on your favorite podcast catcher on iTunes, in, uh, not Instagram, Instagram is over here, iTunes or uh, Stitcher or TuneIn or any of those, uh, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, find the Facebook page, join the conversation there as well. All right. So... <laughs> Uh, today's question, are you a cheater comes from a quote that I saw thumbing through my Instagram feed this morning. Uh, and the, uh, the account there that is one of many like this one that I follow is called hustle and grind. But the question that they ask, or not, this is not a question. This is more declarative. Stop cheating on your future with your past. The past is over. The past is over. Stop cheating with it. We spend so much time in our past rethinking. I mean, how many times have you done this? You, I mean, literally you hang up the phone from having a conversation with somebody and you start reliving it, rehaving the conversation, critiquing yourself, which is not always bad, but you can't live there. I mean, the past is over. As the quote here says, you, you can't, the, the, the only value that comes from spending time in, in the past is learning what not to do in the future. But what too many people do and what I don't want you to do is to spend so much time living in the past that you can't enjoy the future or even the present, right? There's past, there's present, and there's future. I like to say we should be informed by our past, learn from our history, be content in the present, and filled with divine discontent for the future. Right? We, this moment is the only time we're going to have this moment. We might as well enjoy it. What we've done to get us to this point is all we can do. So this is in this split second in time as good as it's ever going to be, but can always make it better tomorrow. But not if we're living all of our time in the past. If you think about, go back to my favorite analogy of baseball, the 162 games in a season. If they lose game one, and then they dwell on that the rest of the year. They're going to miss 161 other games because they couldn't get out of this first game back here. Don't dwell in the past. Just here's what it is. This is what happened. I'm moving on and be done with it. So question for you for today. Going to be a short show today. Got things to do, people, places to go, people to see. Do you live in the past? Do you find yourself going back and reliving those moments out of the past and thinking, man, I wish I'd done this. Man, I wish I'd done that. Is that something that, that happens to you? Is that something that, um, that you struggle with, frankly? If it is, here's the thing to do. Recognize those moments as triggers, right? Oh, I'm living in the past. And then as Mel Robbins says, five, four, three, two, one, go do something new. Right. That's all. Just recognize it for what it is, that it's a trigger. It's a reminder that you need to get up off your fanny and go do something. Right. Another great quote that I saw this morning was go as far as you can see. And then when you get there, you'll be able to see farther. Right. Just do something. Start moving in the direction of that outcome, that goal, that vision of success that you have. And before you know it, it's going to start showing up. But if you just sit here wishing you had started yesterday, nah, never going to happen. That's it for today. You guys have a magnificent, thankful Thursday. It's a thankful Thursday. Let me comment. Let me know what you're thankful for this morning. Also, I will be back tomorrow 
Uh, oh, don't forget tomorrow's hot coffee also. So I'm going to do a, <clears throat> I'll do a quick show in the morning and beat feet out of here to get the hot coffee. If you're in the Huntsville area, you should do the same. Join me and Joe at hot coffee. I assume he's going to be there. He's always there. Uh, 745. I think it's at Hudson Alpha this week. Pretty sure it is. Um, be sure and join us for that and be sure and join me here seven o'clock tomorrow morning for the last installment of the week. And by the way, that reminds me programming note, Monday's a holiday, taking Monday off command decision, taking the day off. All right. That's it. Talk to you guys again tomorrow. Have a terrific day.